While organizations are helping Southeast Louisiana, Southwest is still recovering from Hurricane Laura one year later. This gives Southeast Louisiana a glimpse of their future recovery journey after Ida. Dilapidated, destroyed, abandoned. These are words that Lake Charles residents have experienced for over a year now, recovering from the landfall of Category 4, Hurricane Laura. It's just like, this is unreal, like, it's so much worse than I thought kind of thing. LSU junior and Lake Charles native Meredith Owen is heartbroken every time she returns to her hometown. Our house still has a... Um, Massive hole in the ceiling. About 367 days later, another Category 4 storm pummeled the Gulf Coast, this time southeast Louisiana. We really thought for a two-hour window there when the eye was over us that we were not, we were not going to make it. And in the coming months, southeast Louisiana may look similar to southwest Louisiana in terms of recovery. Debris still scattered around the city of Lake Charles, businesses left untouched, like the Capitol One building behind me, with windows still boarded one year later. From, from the public side of it, you know, our, our FEMA reimbursement, we feel that we're maybe, um, maybe 25% complete. However, on the private side, again, I think that we're probably even less than that because of the lack of supplemental disaster aid. Supplemental disaster aid, known as Community Development Block Grant Disaster Recovery, supplied $9 billion in the wake of Hurricane Katrina restoration and $650 million after the 2016 flood. Lake Charles, experiencing four natural disasters in one year, has received zero dollars in funding from CDGBD. And I think that's a travesty and I think it's a an egregious, glaring embarrassment on a national level. For now, Hunter believes SWLA will do what they can to help the SELA community, but... Very soon, Southeast Louisiana will turn more towards long-term recovery and we'll be facing many of the same issues that, that we face here in Lake Charles. Issues that now most of South Louisiana residents will be facing for months and years to come. You can tell that something terrible happened. Down trees, power poles, power lines, most streets are impassable. For Tiger TV News, I'm Allie Cathabar. Hunter encourages LSU students to reach out to alumni for help and support of their impacted communities.